Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Kim. I am going to be working with Wild Rose Bohemian um, Sunflower Kit. I'll add the links down below. Um, but I just wanted to come on and kind of do like a craft with me. And I really don't ever know where I'm going to start. I just kind of get an idea and then I kind of go, go with it, you know. Um, and it really comes together after I've sat down. But what I'm wanting to do is put this down like this and then have these come open. And like you could write um, actually on these and also right here. So what I did was just um, put this down and made like a little bitty trim right here where you little area where you can just stick it on, glue it on right there. But first I wanted to um, use a little distress ink on it. Because once you glue it, it's, it's kind of hard to um, put inks on it, to me anyway. I'll just go ahead and go around those edges. Just kind of right there here. And after it dries, you can still write on it. So, and then right through here, I'll take this and just kind of ink through here. And this is some tea stain paper that I'm using with this. And I think the journal I'm going to be making will probably have um, three signatures. So, I usually have two. But this kit, and this is just a, just a very little of this kit because this kit is huge. It has so many elements and, and pretty things to it. I absolutely love it. And I have just tons of stuff that I've been saving just for the right kit to come along. And this is one that has lots of sunflowers and things that I really like and things that my the person I'm making this one for will really enjoy. Be making this for her for a Christmas present and I hope she likes it I've never I, I haven't made her a gift before so I'm hoping she'll like it she's a little bit younger and um, but I think she'll like it just go around here because I don't know how to cut straight because you can see it's already um, has that distressed look around, which I love about um, Rose's kits. Like I said, I'll link this kit below. And she also has a face group. Um, but it's private, so you will have to... You will have to ask to join... And I'll just glue this down. This I probably should have made this just a little bit bigger, but that's okay. And my glue, I haven't used it, so it may be stuck. I think it is. I may have to use my fabric tack, which is fine. I just like this one a little bit more. It has, um, but I don't want to waste time sitting <laughs> here trying to get it to working. Cause I forgot to put my, I forgot to put my little thing on. Yeah, that might take a little bit. So let me just grab this Fabri-Tac and hopefully it'll go a little bit faster for us. I know you don't want to see me poking holes. If I can get just a little bead of glue. Okay, like that. And then, I want to make sure I lay it kind of even. 
throughout the page. And then let's see, press this down like that. I said I should have made it this little, um, this a little bit wider, but I didn't, so I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna let that glue, and while that is drying just a little bit, I'm gonna try to poke this through. There it goes. Sometimes it takes a little bit for it to flow, though. Try to get over here on a scrap piece of paper. I actually believe it has some stuff, some hard pieces stuck in it. I'm thrilled to be working with this kit. Okay, I'll leave that in there. Let's see. Uh oh. Okay, and oh, I think I got yeah a little bit of glue right here, but that's okay. It didn't mess it up. So now what I want to do is to get, I think what I'm going to do is put some, because I have tons of it, some washi tape down. And so that'll hold this just a little bit, make it a little bit more secure. I'm going to use this Fabri-Tac again. And I'll try to just bead this down to where it kind of lays on half the paper and then half of this um, little white area. That'll give it a little bit more stability, I think. If not, we can always redo it. So, I'll lay this right here. may have gone over just a little bit too much. Tear this. Let me look. It's folding pretty good. That one's folding good. And that one's folding good. Okay, good deal. And just get that like that. Now, I'm wondering if I should, and I may come back later and put that down. Look at that. Isn't that so pretty? Lay this down somehow. Like, I'm not sure what I would do, but. And I'm thinking I should, maybe a little tab to flip it over. And maybe I should even put a pocket here. Let's see. I think so. I think that'd be cute. Maybe a smaller going this way. Well, that's what we're going to do. Let's see how that looks. And I think I actually have one more tag. There was a set of four tags from that set. And I can put the tag in here. Like I said, this is just like a little craft for me and just making a journal page. I don't know how to fold well. <laughs> put a little edging, um, distressing right through here on the edges. And I think I put that there. Let's get my folder. Give that a crisp crease. Let me see if this will work. I still don't want to come out real well. So I will switch back over to this again. And this was coming out and out. Just don't want to. Here we go. Just 
Lay that down a little bit. I have that blob that I need to get off. Okay. That's a little bit too much. Put that on a piece of paper. And then I'll put this right here. Such a really pretty kit. And I think I want to add, I had a little bit of lace. Um, I have some pretty seam binding. And look, it's kind of like that. It's I don't know if you could wad it up and make it wrinkled. I bet if I put some water on it, I could. So let me try that. I'm going to take just a little bit. We can try it together. I've never tried that, but let's see how that works. This is the old seam binding. And I just have a little bit of um, water, but I'm going to take it to over here just to get it wet. And then I want to straighten it out. And I don't want it dripping on my pages, but like I said, I'm not sure if it'll work. But we can sure try. I got it together. I think I got water right there. There we go. Just kind of. And what this would do. Okay, now I want I want to put a little bit of lace, but I need to find um let me see. I had some lace. Let me see what I did with it. I got all kinds of things, all kinds of goodies. This may be a little bit too light. It's pretty though. And that's a light yellow. So sweet though. Wonder if I can ink this up just a little bit and make it darker. Am I even in focus, guys? I think I can. That's what I'll do. I want to add a little bit right through here. Just to dress it up just a little bit. Okay, and I'll cut it right through here. And just to make that a little bit, that pale, just a little bit darker, I'm going to add a little distress ink. And I think I got glue on my anchor, but that's okay. I have another one. So, and then, let's see. I have this that gave laid down this way. As I said, I'm just decorating the page and just having a little fun. I think we'll lay that there. See how that looks. Since I already have my glue, This needs to be cleaned off just a little bit. And it's gotten cakey. Okay. Now. You can use hot glue or even the regular um, glue. But I just like using Fabri-Tac with fabric. And I'll just lay this right down here like that. Trying to get that even. And I'll cut just a little bit of this right there because you got that little part that's messed up. That I messed up. I like this. 
hardly ever use this and I always find the bigger wider kind but I'm loving the little the little kind like this is oh that's the same one I got just a bunch of these um over the years I collect them so now we have this tag but I want to back it I like my tags a little bit thicker if I can find something real quick to back it with and I see I can even use um let's see so I have this left over that I was using so I can just use some of this and just a piece of be fun this will work great Like I said, since my, let me look what the back looks like. It's, it's okay. It's got a little something on it, so I'll use that to stick to the back side of it. And just glue this down. Sure, that is plenty to make it stick. And then we can trim around that. sew this, but I'll do it off camera. tend to get a little quiet sometimes when I'm working. Well, a lot of times. I don't want to eat this up. Cute. We can also later on add a journaling card or um, whatever we'd like. That will just about be it. I can sure like these. Look at these little. They're really cute. So hold on just one minute and I'm going to sew around these edges and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back and I just sewed around the edges and this is what it looks like. You absolutely do not have to sew your edges or if you do want to sew, um, not use a sewing machine, but have a sewn look. You can just go take like a felt tip marker and of your choice of color and just go around. Okay, so I'm trying to decide. I believe this may be okay. This is what it looks like. So what I'm going to do is use this. Um, it's still a little damp, so... I'll put it through there, but I'm going to lay it through the side, and I even think I'm going to put a little, um, a little, um, stickles on it. So first, my new little tag punch I have. I'm so loving this. I've had a round one forever, and you just get tired of the round ones. Or I do, because I've made, uh, tags are my thing. <laughs> I love them. I love making tags so much. They're just so versatile. Okay, so I do like the green. And I won't put a bow. I think I'm going to leave it just... What I will do is cut in right through here. And then right through, out through there. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that. That's okay. And I'll have to cut 
this just a little bit smaller because I messed up. Or I can absolutely go back and um, change it. But I think that'll be cute. And maybe even you could add a little piece of this here if, you, if you'd like to tie everything in together. But I'm going to use some stickles. I have these colors. I think this one, um, sea foam, will be pretty and just kind of fill in um, the little areas. And I'm not sure, I don't think I have, um, I don't think I have, um, I think I have some gold. I could put that yellow gold in here and just add a little bit of highlights to the um, actual sunflowers. Just adding a few little highlights with the stickles. And let's see, I'm looking for my yellow gold, which I know I have. It's a little bit, yeah. I'll show you. Um, see, I have, this is a little bit, this is called goldenrod, and this is called <laughs> sunflower. Now, how is that? So, let's just go over a little bit of gold. I wish I had a brown. I'm just going to go through here and just highlight some of the petals. I think it'll be pretty. I have a black, but it's... I don't think I want to use it because it's just a little black. I'd like to have brown instead of black. So I just don't think I'll use it, which is fine. I like that highlighted. And I'll just sit over here and highlight a few of these little petals. See, I just don't even know what I'm doing. I just sit down and it comes to me. I have a little idea and then I'll do it and then trail off into something else. Okay, there we go, and I'm thinking, let's go ahead and do this. Can you, I don't know if you can see me. Down at the very bottom, putting in just a few highlights. And I'll show you because I'm not sure if I'm in frame with that. So, yes, this is, I love the way this looks. That's pretty to me. Now, I wouldn't mind having something to put right here. Maybe a button. Um, I'm thinking it just needs something. I don't believe I have any yellow flowers. And I don't want a huge button. Look at that. That's huge. Um, kind of like a mat. Kind of like that. But that's pretty also. Well, let's do that one, I think. And what I'll do is just cut the back. I have some. Um, some wire cutters that I use to cut this this um, piece off of the back. This is really pretty. It's got like a shimmer to it that I think that came off really quick. I'm doing it off camera because I'm kind of holding over the garbage can trying to clip that off. See, I just clipped off the back right there. And I don't think my hot glue was on, so let me get that fired up. And I think that'll be cute right there. Um, I wouldn't mind having, I don't know, a little piece of burlap would look cute, but I don't have any. I don't think I brought any with me in here. Okay, 
guys, I just have so, so much, um, so many things. I just have papers to go with it, and I just think this is just going to be so cool to add so many elements to it. I do have a yellow rose, I see, but that is it. Um, I wish you might have some burlap. Maybe not. Just maybe not. I have clear stickers and all kinds of young stuff. But I'm not seeing it. So I'm not sure where it is. And that's okay. But I do want to show you this that I have that, and I'm not real sure what, I'm, what I want to use for, uh, um, I'm not sure what I want to use. Look at that. I think I'll put some of these on there. I don't want to stick my, um, this is like a, I have this. It's like a, um, table scarf. But I thought that was so neat. Maybe even make a cover out of. I'm not real sure, quite sure yet what I want to do. But I also want to use some of these gems since we are sparkling. With the bling. I always say a pair of three. I can put that there and maybe let's see what this one looks like. Uh oh. Yeah, that'll give it a little a little something something extra. So let me get this down real quick. And my glue gun does not here it goes finally. that there. And I'm thinking that's all going pretty good. I should have actually used a little hot glue gun, a hot glue with it, but I didn't. I think it'll be okay though. Ow, try not to burn myself also. So I'll stick this right here. That just gives it a little, little something extra. Like I said, I've been collecting things that would go with um, this forever. So what I want to do is just sit this out of the way. There was something else I wanted to work on, but I'm not. Let me see how much we're into the video. Um, Probably about 20 minutes. So maybe I should close right there. And then um, we could work on something later. But I think it's going to be a great thing to work with. It's awesome. Let's see. I had this. I did want to. Y'all, I'm trying to be careful and not get that everywhere. But this, what I was thinking about doing is like making this door open. Like have a door. This will be the middle. I think this is going to be the middle of my signature have this door open and then maybe looking like into this. Like the door opens and it's a, a window straight through and you can see this. I don't know. I th let's try that real quick and it shouldn't take too long if I can find my um, right tools that I need to cut with, which I very well may not can. And um, I just wanted to see what that would look like. I think it would be kind of neat. Oh, I do have them. Let's see. I say I have them if they're in this case. Oh, that's horrible. I have glue on my knife. I think, yeah, my grandbaby was playing and she left some, some, um, glitter glue on here. So I'm going to try and see if I'm all over the place too. See if I can get this to cut. Oh, I should have used my mat, but this is doing good. Excuse me. 
use my beat up little knife. Okay. I hope I'm in you guys' view. Let's see. That didn't go through. I may need to get some, replace these since that glue is on there. Let me see what else I have. Ugh, this is a big one. Maybe if I take it slow, I can kind of go over where it was. I can always ink it. Okay, we got this. And let's see. Go around here. These doors are so cute. Okay, I got that. Now, if I can go down here. Cut this part pretty straight. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Um, try to fold this over. I'm all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. I'm thinking I should have come back just a little bit more. Ugh. I can tell now this one's all the way open. And this isn't, so I'm just going to cut it on back. It shouldn't have went this far, but it did, so. Let's see how this one looks. This one also. That's okay. Okay. Let's see if I can get a decent bend in here without making a mess. Okay. Yay, I got it. Let's see. I was going to put this Yep, I like that. I really do. It's cute and it's interactive, so that's what I will do. I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the knob yet, but that's okay. So I will put this down. Let me ink it a little bit. I think I should have enough ink on here. And I sure wish this was working, but I think it's globby. Yeah, I'll have to work on that later. Let's see. Let's get this fabric tack out again. Just run a little bit. It doesn't take much at all. Just a little dab if I can get it out. Put this down. Like that. I think that's about in the middle. Okay, and then this I'd like to... um ink around as well. Even see where I've cut the cut those doors. Okay, so what I want to do now is probably just ink all around here. Just a little, little bit. Right up here. 
right here. I'm all everywhere, guys. And I'm so sorry. So, yes, I like this. And that's where I think I'll put it down. Let's see if I can get this glued. And like I said, it don't take much of this Fabri-Tac at all. And I think that's pretty well in the middle. But yeah, that's just one idea. Not, I like the way this turned out. I think it's really cute. I also have some of this that I would like to put down, like over. See, and I got this at a thrift store for a dollar, and you could probably get it at Hobby Lobby when they have the 40% off um, stuff. Just want to put a little bit, and I can't find where the opening is. Here it is. Just give it a little 3D, but I also, yeah, that'll be fine. I also want to keep it flat, so just not a lot, just a little. Curving around like this. See, I just saw that over there when I was going through stuff and just said, hmm, let's do that. <laughs> I shouldn't have used my scissors. I should have used some wire trimmers, but I think it'll be okay. So what I want to do, I'm not real sure. I do want it to kind of go around this way and maybe bend a little like things like that kind of like this make it just a little 3d and i don't know i like it what would be really nice if i could find some silk little tiny um and i make and make some little sunflowers to go on here. That would be really cute. So, <laughs> got stuff going everywhere, guys. Lay that down. And I'm trying to find my... I just have to use what I have. Like I said, I do want this flat, kind of. I think I can go back. And make the leaves kind of flat. Keep them from popping up. So let me get right through here. Where this wire is. Put that down. And then even right through here. My head's probably all in the way. Put this down right through here. Get all the little glue strings off. And let me see. I'll tuck this right through here. Uh oh. I definitely think that the recipient of this will like this 3D effect. So, yeah, that's what it looks like. I like it. I really do. And if I can either make some or find some little, um, something gold or, you know, sunflowers would be really cute. So, yep, that is us working on this. Let me see how it's going to fold. I think it'll be fine. It is not really bulky. And I definitely like the effect of it. So, yep. I hope I have given you some ideas. And I hope that I was in frame. I'm sure you guys will let me know if I'm not. Um, I think I like this. But I'd like a smaller one. 
so I don't know though it may be okay we will see but I could just add and add and add you know how that goes so anyway thank you guys so much for watching I will have everything linked down below of this video um, where you can find the kit and also the um, and also um, the Facebook group Wild Rose Bohemians uh, Facebook group, and you will have to ask to be added because, like I said, it's private. But anyway, thanks again so much for watching, and have a good night or day whenever you're watching. Until next time, bye-bye.